The Joy Behar Show, every night, 10 Eastern, on HLN. Lindsay Lohan was in court again today. For those keeping score at home, this was her eighth court appearance in the last nine months. So, is Lindsay heading to the slammer? Here with me the, with the latest is HLN's Dr. Drew, whose new nightly show, Dr. Drew, premieres this spring. Hello, Drew. How are you? Hey, Joy. Thanks. Good to see you. Okay. Is she going to jail? Please tell me she is so I don't have to talk about her anymore. <laughs> I think she's going to jail, but I don't think this is the last you've heard of Lindsay. Uh, I, you know, the fact is that while she's getting better and she's been sort of participating in recovery, she's not been what you call a model patient in terms of embracing the process of uh -huh. recovery. And the, ju the judge is kind of picking up on that and he's trying to force those points, which is great. The problem is he's also going to send her to jail, which I think all of us who are sort of law-abiding citizens feel somehow gratified by that. But it's not exactly what she needs. No? What does she need? Uh, she needs somebody to say, look, I'm going to mandate another six months of intensive residential treatment or something such as that to so put her in a, he an immersive that? environment. Why What's that? Why doesn't he just do that? Can't he demand that? I, I don't that? understand that. Yeah, I don't understand why, why the judges don't do that more. I, I guess it's probably because they just don't do that for other felons, so why should they do that for her? They're, he's trying to adjudicate you know, evenly across all cases. Uh -huh. But the reality is you know, she has an illness. I mean, you were just a few minutes ago talking about what Martin Sheen was saying about Charlie Sheen. Yes. He's absolutely right that advanced addiction has a worse prognosis than the vast majority of cancers. It has a treatment. The treatment works. If I told her she had cancer, we'd be airlifting her to City of Hope for cancer treatment. Right. But just because it's addiction and people see that as a weakness, somehow it's her problem. We all become sort of, we all express righteous indignation and want to act out our fury on her and send her to jail. Well, the stuff she's doing is very, very typical of particularly my female patients early in recovery. They do lots of strange things. They're very fragile. And by treating her aggressively, I'm not sure you're helping her. I see. Well, you know, the judge told her to get therapy and find a 12-step program. What about that? That's, that's well, good. Well, of course it's good. In fact, in fact he was very uh, sort of uh, enlightened in what he said. He said, look, you're calling somebody a sponsor who you have a relationship with as a family member. That is not a sponsor. Your sponsor is somebody who's at at least five, preferably ten years of sobriety, who's sponsoring other people whom you don't know, who you can sit down and be honest with and talk about your shame and fear and emptiness, and that person can bust your chops a little bit and get back you and get you to participate actively. That's the piece she doesn't have yet. And going to jail is not going to get her there, unfortunately. No. And I'm very, very fearful about Lindsay. I really think we, we're going to see a very, very serious bottom in the not too distant future, uh, and well, I don't think the jail is going to help prevent that. Neither she nor Char Charlie Sheen see, uh, see, see themselves, neither one of them sees him, himself or herself as uh, a, a someone who's ill. So how can you say that uh, should be a, a treated like an illness? You see what I'm saying? Well, it, it's They don't yeah, see it as I, an I, illness, I, so what are you supposed to do with that? Look, I've got lots of cancer patients that are in denial, too, and want to go get all kinds of ancillary care when there are effective treatments available to them. The same thing applies here. It's just that denial is a feature of this illness. It's uh -huh. a brain disease, so necessarily there's distortion about their thinking and about their perceptions and how they see their condition. In fact, I will tell you, this is the part, Joy, that makes me very frustrated. Yeah. The general public sort of sees Charlie as sort of a cartoon character, very much like the character he plays on TV. When I will tell you, the manifestations, the symptoms he's having suggest very serious psychopathology. And when these guys get better and they look back at how they were, they're very angry with people that didn't step up on their behalf and confront them about it. They're angry now at people like me who tell them what they need to do. But later, they appreciate that and they're angry at everybody else for not having done so. Okay. You know what? You're going to be talking about all this kind of stuff on your new show? Yeah, yes, and, and many, many other things. Believe me, we're not just going to limit to addiction. And, and like you, I, I, I want to limit my Lindsay talk. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, remember, you can catch Dr. Drew right here on HLN every night, beginning this spring.